destructive power of waves is well known to sailors. Wave energy can, however, be harnessed and provide a source of clean, renewable energy. Nowadays, many groups in Europe and elsewhere are actively developing technology to do this, known as wave energy converters. In March 2003, one European team successfully launched a floating 237-ton wave energy prototype at one to four scale, baptized the Wave Dragon. This happened in Nissum Bredning in Denmark. The Wave Dragon is based on a very simple principle, that of capturing energy from waves. When the waves hit the wave reflectors, they climb the ramp and fall into the tank where the water is stored. The water stored in the tank then flows through the turbines. We see the emerging part here, generating electricity from the water pressure, as summarized in the animation. The wave climbs the ramp, falls in the tank and flows out through the turbines. One of the main principles of the Wave Dragon is to have the ramp shaped as a wide, flat plateau so that the waves can roll onto it without breaking, thus maintaining their force. This optimizes the volume of water and increases the quantity of water passing through the turbines. The project is the result of cooperation between six different European partners. Denmark, United Kingdom, Ireland, Sweden, Austria and Germany. The main elements of the turbines we have seen were developed and tested here in Munich. At the Munich Technical University, we had to address three tasks in the course of this project. First, the basic turbine design to determine what type of turbines to use in this specific case. Then we developed them from a model using a series of tests. Finally, we took charge of the operational strategy and various adjustments to ensure efficiency and maximum yield from the turbines. The Wave Dragon prototype operates using seven turbines, which are now working very well and which can generate up to 20 kilowatts. The prototype has been connected to the electrical network on the mainland since the 27th of June 2003. At full scale, the Wave Dragon would generate 4 megawatts in the North Sea. In a perfect location, with stronger wave power, the same unit could produce as much as 7 megawatts, enough electricity for about 10,000 homes. Two of the advantages of the floating installation are that it can be produced in large quantities and it can be placed anywhere in the world, off any coast, beach or cliff. The team now needs to complete the test program. The next step will then be the construction and testing of a full-scale prototype. The long-term objective is to connect several units together in a type of energy farm along available coastlines. We're counting on putting several units next to each other to generate 80 to 100 megawatts. With 50 units, we could reach the capacity of a normal power plant. In the future, such an energy farm could produce enough electricity for a town like Brest in France. An ocean of energy for us and future generations.